and the play that goes down in folklore. Yep. The play to win a grand final. Yep. It begins with Jeremy McGovern, who overcomes a lot to be in the game, as it turns out subsequently. An intercept mark, so he leaves the going. I'll say the goer should have gone with him too. Others will disagree. He should have gone. And he will win that decision for a long time. He hits the kick between three Collingwood players to find Vardy. Vardy goes long over the back to it. If he went short, he gave Ryan that space to jump. That's an incredible mark and it's redemption on the day. He yeah. had a moment earlier on which might have pointed him. West Coast have got the two on one with the two inboard runners. One's Pendlebury, I think the other one's side bottom. They don't come to cover in the pocket. And then she goes back. The controversy, obviously, is whether that's a free kick. I think not. it's a free kick. It's not the be or Mendel. I thought it was a free kick. But that doesn't overshadow, in my opinion, and I've been dealing with some West Coast League mm. fans' reaction on this. I thought it was a free kick. But anyway. It was your hashtag using robbed. <laughs> yeah, but that was that a was gag. Important. That was a oh, gag. <laughs> it's very hard to get that nuance across on Twitter. On Twitter, <laughs> rolled. I was so, just joking. Yeah, it's, the problem is, <laughs> had the free kick been paid, we would have thought not much of it, because you would have gone, well, she's not kicking the goal from there anyway, and there's still two and a bit minutes left. Mm. But the free doesn't get, and it all magnifies because he goes back and kicks the goal. I, I, I've, I've listened to Dom Seed, I've read Dom Seed. It would be great to have Shakespeare in his head to describe exactly what he was feeling as he walked back. When, when he'd marked it, yep. the umpire allowed him to keep it, and he walked back. Is the noise deafening? Is the noise lowering? Is everyone... And then to go back and have... How many people watch the game? Four million people watching him kick the ball. And to do it, Jerry, to oh. do it. Not, not fail in the biggest moment of his life is something that every human being who loves footy would be so proud. This is a glorious shot. And it, look at that. It's a, it's a pure drop punt. No around the corner, which we're experiencing now. And the people in the grandstands and people at home, they would have gone yeah, nuts. Nah. He didn't dwell over the kick, so I just asked today what champion data had in terms of what was the likelihood of kicking the goal from that spot. So this it? year there are <coughs> 70 attempts for 28 goals, 26 behinds and 16 misses across all venues. And from that spot at the MCG, there's less than a 50-50 chance. It, there have been 13 attempts for 5 goals, 6 behinds and 2 misses. I, I, I haven't spoken about any of this. There is something to be said about left footage. <laughs> you've seen it, you've called a hundred and you've called a thousand games. Left footers and right footers may agree or not agree, but left footers have something special in them, mostly when they kick the ball. They're able to do things with the ball that largely right footers can't do. He just went back, walked in, poised, calm, dealt with whatever doubts or fears or excitement he had in his head and kicked it in the wind straight. Left footers do freaky things, Jared. But his teammates had all been missing from in front. Oh, they God almighty. William Ryan, two posters. It was, it was an epic game and that was an epic moment, moment wasn't it? Yes, it was. And that, that's what we'll live. As you spoke to Glenn Jakovic, he said it was the greatest Eagles premiership. And he, and he went back to 92, their first one. He called it, you know, ending, you know, Eastern Seaboard, Victorian domination. Um, you know, and they had the epic game against the Swans in, in 06. They won in 94 pretty easily. But what this club was able to do, and yes, there was a lot of concentration on Collingwood in the build-up, but what this club was able to do with so many injuries um, was quite incredible. Quite incredible. And to lose Shepherd, to lose Nick Matt, to lose Gap, most important player, maybe their best midfielder, um, and a really crucial half back. And to keep the team together, to keep the belief together. Because when they're five goals down to mm -hmm. do you think it's human behaviour sometimes to think, oh, this is just too hard? It's too hard. But they never said it's too hard. So you talk about leaders, you know, even the former players talk about leaders. That's what leaders do. Shannon Hearn, I thought in the first quarter, he had a head of a bum of the first quarter. He was turning the ball over and I'm thinking, oh, come on, Shannon. 
He's still been all Australian captain. Mm -hmm. And I thought his last three quarters were just superb. I thought the leaders at West Coast stood up, the young players and experienced players followed. And Adam Simpson, one day we'll get like NFL films. Do you watch NFL films yeah. on ESPN? Where we can mic up the, the coaches at the breaks. Right, mic them up, and the club can pass them on.